Hey, my name is Kate and I am on week 45 of long COVID. And today I want to talk about a new medication and pacing and why it's so hard. <laughs> um, so this week I got the good news that my insurance uh, covered Evabradine. Um, Evabradine is a um, typically a heart failure medication, but also gets used for folks with uh, dysautonomia or POTS um, to help control tach tachycardia words. Um, and the great thing about it is it doesn't lower your blood pressure, um, but it is expensive. Insurance doesn't like to cover it unless you have failed the more affordable options for them. Um, so after failing five rounds of beta blockers, um, I got insurance to cover of Aberdeen, which is wonderful. Um, and the good news is it seems to be working really well if I also remember to pace. <laughs> so um, I started it, uh, gosh, three nights ago, three nights ago. So I haven't been on it very long. Um, but the day after I started, I happened to have a scheduled OT appointment. So we were doing um, cognitive rehab and, um, and vision rehab. Um, and sitting, standing, my heart rate stayed in a totally normal range, which hasn't happened in 45 weeks. <laughs> um, so that was amazing. Like my OT and I just kept looking at, um, at the pulse ox, like how is this even possible? <laughs> um, but then, then I got excited. And an excited Kate is a dangerous Kate um, because it's such a such an incredible gift to feel well, to feel like myself. Um, so I started doing things like, you know, and when I say like, oh, I didn't do a good job pacing, I think sometimes people think like, wow, you must have like gone to a party or like gone for a run. No, um, I sat on the ground outside and did my 15 minutes of slow paced recumbent cycling on our indoor exercise bike and made dinner. Um, and that was just way too much, way too much, um, for my poor heart that has just been trying so hard, um, even with the evaporating. So last night I went, wound up collapsing on the bathroom floor, which always sucks. Um, one of the scariest things about this illness is just like not reliably knowing when I will be conscious or not. Um, thankfully I didn't hit anything on the way down. Um, I kind of knew it was coming. So just did the like slow, like, okay, we're going to get to the floor. Um, and you know, since then I've been okay. My heart rate has, um, has definitely been really, um, reactive. Um, and it's clear that I'm in a um, post-exertional flare, um, but it seems like the Evabradine is working. Um, <laughs> I just have to do my part to, um, to continue to pace and not go absolutely nuts with excitement. Um, so here's to all of us who have failed at pacing because we just want to live our lives. Um, but it was a good reminder to me that even with the best medication, um, I'm still ill. Um, I'm still dealing with this dysautonomia, even if it's well managed. Um, I have to take good care of myself. I have to be really aware of um, what my energy levels are and what my heart is capable of in that particular moment. Um, so from my crash and pacing fails to yours, take good care everybody.